Are you with dad? Are you, or are you just mad at me? Or maybe she died, who knows? Let's play a game, shall we? Hi there, welcome to Trace Memory, the Nintendo DS game that's basically a 3D point-and-click adventure. I have played it a long time ago and beaten it a long time ago, but I don't remember anything about it, so I'm pretty sure it's good to play. It's the day before my 14th birthday, I'm feeling angsty. It's morning now, the sun is bright. And I'm on a boat heading toward... Blood Edward Island. Great name for it. The sea is very calm, but my heart is a storm of emotions. Okay. I'm shocked, happy, upset, confused, nervous, and excited. Sounds like a real roller coaster. My heart's in a blender. Well, you better get your heart out of the blender. My stomach's on spin cycle. You put your heart in a blender and your... I've never felt like this before. You put your heart in a blender and your stomach in a washing machine? Get them out! I just found out that... Dun dun dun! My father is alive! Your internal organs are about to get destroyed. Maybe you should go do something about that. Wait! Obviously I'm joking, but... Starting, recogni starting recognition process. Please touch the center of the ring with your index finger. Click. Reading. Reading. Reading complete. Username. Ashley Mizuki Robbins. Birth date. July 15th, 1991. Unlocking DTS. Display unlocking message. Dear Ashley. Dear Ashley, I'll be waiting for you here on Blood Edward Island. I want to spend your 14th birthday with you. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? Your father, Richard. Isn't that sweet? Dual trace system. But wait, if, if she's turning 14 and she was born 1991, then this game play, takes place in... 2005? Yeah, that sounds about right. So, July 15th, 2005, huh? Ashley. Daddy! Well, here we are. Huh? Not gonna say anything, huh? Oh, here we go. So that's the island. Yep. That's it. Don't know what your business here is. But I don't envy you. No one's come by this place. Since I don't know when. Just a little while ago... I received a package. The original Nintendo DS. Inside the package there was... A letter from my father. Who I thought had died long ago. There was also a small machine. It looked strangely like a Nintendo DS. I traced the letter to here. Blood Edward Island. Apparently it's a DTS. He should be waiting for me. It's like a Nintendo DS Turbo. I was so happy. I got a beefed out, pimped out version of a Nintendo DS. Chapter 1, Ghost Memories. Ooh, spooky. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. Wow, the DS is the original resolution. I'm pretty sure it did not do this game justice. Because in high res, it looks pretty good. Holy crap, I'm actually shocked. I mean, yeah, it's mostly top-down, but look at that. How cool is that? Seriously, maybe I'm being a little too... Maybe I'm being a little too impressed by this. Okay, gotta make sure that it's... Uh, yeah, it is at times three. It is at times three resolution. Oh, hello. Uh, where am I? Oh, Ashley, you're awake. Yeah, I must have fallen asleep. Yes, are you feeling alright? 
Oh, Ashley, it was that dream again, wasn't it? Yes. Just forget about it. It's not a real memory. Just a bad dream. Nobody remembers things that happen when they're three. There's no use torturing yourself. Just let it go. I wish I could. Jessica is my father's little sister and his only family. She teaches high school chemistry and basically raised me. She's a nice lady, big-hearted, smart. We've been through a lot. But I can't even look at her right now. Because all this time she knew Dad was alive and she didn't tell me! That hussy! Ashley! Yeah? We're, we're just about there. I can see Blood Edward Island. Your father is waiting there. I'm sure he can't wait to see you. It's finally happening! Dad is alive. Why did you let me believe for all these years that Dad was dead? The answer isn't simple. Why did you lie to me for all these years? It's really messed me up! I had to. I promised your father. What kind of promise? I suppose I can tell you now. It happened ten or so years ago. He just showed up on my doorstep one day with you in his arms. You had just turned three. I still remember how you looked that day. So very small. Go on. It had been a while since I would seen him last. He looked tired and serious, even more so than usual. He just said, don't ask me about this, I'll come for her someday. I hope it's soon, but it may not be. Until then, take good care of her. And under no circumstances can you tell her I'm alive. But why? Why did he say that? I have no idea. I could sense that something very grave was happening, or had happened. What did you... What do you... So I took his word for it and took you under my wing. To tell you the truth, I was scared to ask any more questions. I didn't want to learn something that might put us in danger. And now it seems that Richard has kept his promise to contact you. I am sorry, Ashley. I wanted to tell you about your father, but I made a promise. About my father. Can you tell me about him right now? He's an excellent scientist. I already know that. I'm sure that small machine he sent you was one of his creations. What was he researching? Memories. What do you mean, memories? He worked for a research lab that specialized in that field. It was there that he met an accomplished scientist. She was also quite beautiful. She was your mother, Sayoko. Okay, more stuff to talk about. This gadget that Dad sent me. It has DTS engraved on the cover. Does that mean anything to you? DTS? Hmm, it doesn't ring any bells for me. There's a camera icon, too. Is that right? Oh, I think it just took a picture. Well, this definitely isn't the original DS, because the original DS couldn't take pictures. I'm pretty sure it didn't have cameras until the DSi. What are you doing to me, Nintendo? Why are you lying to me? This isn't the original DS. This is like a D DSi... DS Fat Hybrid. Did, did the DSi even exist at this time? I don't think... I, I suspect it didn't. I should have said cheese. Let's see, how did, I, how did I do that? Ashley? Oh yeah, like this. Ashley, listen to me. I do know one thing about the DTS. What is it? You're the only person who can use it. What do you mean? Your fingerprint is registered on the DTS. It registered my fingerprint? How? It's all based on biometrics. Biometrics? They're technologies that read human physical characteristics and cross-check them with registered data. Your DTS tabs into a master database. Therefore, no one else can use your machine, only you. That's kind of neat! It's pretty advanced technology, cutting edge, you might say. Richard my, must have had something very important to tell you. He sent this DTS to ensure that only you would read it. Oh. What about the mother? Jessica, could you tell me about my mother, too? Well, I don't know where to start. I didn't know her very well. Sayoko was a brilliant scientist, very strong-willed, and she had those beautiful eyes. You have her eyes, Ashley. No, I, you know what I mean. You know what I mean? I mean, I want to know what happened to her. Is she alive? No. I... I don't know. Jeez, Jessica, would it kill you to tell me the truth for once? I'm sorry, I promise I won't get mad again. I'll stay calm. I just want to know about my mother, what happened to her. Oh, Ashley. You told me she died when I was three as well, but... She's still alive, isn't she? I bet she's on Blood Edward Island with Dad! Tell me, Jessica! Calm down, Ashley. This will all sort itself out. When you see your father, I'm sure he'll explain everything. I'm tired of waiting! Well, that's it for that. No more info. Ding, ding! Land ho!
The bridge has reached the dock. Captain has docked the boat. We're alongside a small pier. I don't see Dad anywhere. Where could he be? For that matter, I don't see anybody around here. Don't you find ladies have anyone coming to pick you up? I'm sorry to say I can't stay here with you, no siree. I'm leaving before nightfall no matter how much you pay me. This is where he said to meet me, right? Why isn't he here? This is very peculiar. It's unlike Richard to lose track of details. He must be waiting for us somewhere else on the island. Come on, Ash. Let's go find him. You go. I'm staying here. Don't be difficult, Ashley. I'm not being difficult! I waited all this time and traveled all this way to meet him, and he can't even come get me! That jerk! That douchebag! That prick! Alright, Ashley, you wait here. I'll go look for him. If I don't find him nearby, I'll be right back. Don't wander off, okay? I've got a lot of experience not getting myself killed, you know? Wow, you're really gonna put it like that, huh? Quite a long face, kid. Keep making that face and it'll freeze that way. <laughs> I'm fine. Is that lady your mom? No. Stepmom? No. She's my aunt. My dad's sister. But she's the one who raised me, so she's like a mom, I guess. See, Dad left me with Jessica when I was just a little kid, and... Hey, kid, slow down. It ain't none of my business, okay? Oh, sorry. I don't know who she is to you or any of that. Hi. You two, you two looked upset is all. Since she's a know-it-all, she can take care of herself. All right, then. Then you won't mind if I wait for her with you. I guess I'm a little worried about Jessica. It's all Dad's fault. He should have come to meet us. Kid. What is it? We could chat to pass the time. Okay, I guess. Can I ask you some questions about yourself and this island? If they ain't too complicated. Okay. Okay, tell me about yourself. When did you become a captain? Way before you were born. Wow, that's a long time then. Yep. Did you ever want- did you want to be a captain when you were little? I'm not sure. You wanted to be something else? I mean, I don't remember. Maybe. It's been a long time. Oh, when people grow up, do they all forget about the past? Maybe. I reckon some do. Oh. But don't worry, kid. People only forget what they want to forget. What if you want to remember? Just keep repeating whatever it is in your head. You won't forget. I see. Do you come to this island a lot? Heck no. This is my second time. Not many people want to come here. You sure? You see? I sure don't. The last time I came out here was a ways back. I accompanied a tall blonde fella. Did you just say a tall blonde man? What? When? What was his name? Why? What's it to you? That man. He could have been my father. Your dad, huh? Yes, so did you... Sorry, kid. That's privileged information. And by privilege, I mean I haven't got a clue about him. Um, okay then. Let's ask about Blood Edward Island then. This island is pretty much empty, isn't it? Yep. Well, was it always this way or did people used to live here? You're a curious one, aren't you? I guess so. From what I heard from my pop, this island was once owned by a rich family, the Edwards. Then old man Edward took sick and bad things started happening. What kind of bad things? One by one, the family members started to die. What do you mean, people started to die? How do they die? I don't really know much more than that. Maybe there was an accident or maybe everyone got sick. Hey kid, how old are you? Thirteen, I'll be fourteen tomorrow though. Well, that's still too young for me. Still, still too young to be filling your head with grisly ideas. The question of why people die is too big for anyone to answer. Well, anyhow, after all that, the rest of the family left the island. Since then, no one's really lived here. It's a ghost town, you see? That's why the island is called Blood Edward. Kind of a morbid name. Interesting. By the way, what's your dad doing on the island? My father? Well, I don't really know what he's doing here. I guess I'll find out soon. I see. So who's your father? He's a scientist. A scientist, huh? He must be pretty smart. I guess. I don't really know him. You're a bright young lady. You must take after him. Yeah? Yes, very inquisitive, I'd say. So be careful, okay? What do you mean by that? Don't become one of those boring adults who doesn't ask questions. Yes, sir. 
Okay, I think it's time to leave. Hmm, her aunt is taking a while, isn't she? Yes, I'm getting worried. I'll go look for her. No, let me go. You sure now, Missy? I'm sure. She must have found Dad. They must have lost track of time talking somewhere. I'll go find them. Well, okay. Take these with you. I got candies from Captain. Wow, that's not dubious at all. Neat. I love candy. Don't eat them all at once, okay? No sense getting a bellyache. Gotcha. Be careful, kid. I will. Taking candy from strangers. Wow. Way to go, kid. I'm sure you'll do great. Let me just check something. Oh, right. Right. It was the opposite of what I thought. They're not here. Where are they? Yeah, you can tell it's kind of a missed kind of adventure. Well, you know. Kinda, but not really. Because it's half... It's half that, and it's half just wandering around in 3D. I can see the boat we were on. The ground is sandy. What about that tree right there? The tree is so big, it seems to fill the sky. That seems to be something important. That bridge goes to the island. Well, yeah, I mean, I would, I would guess so. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? I mean, you've got, you've got a 3D view and you've got a top-down view. The bridge leads to the island. Jessica might, must have gone this way. Jessica, you said you'd come right back. Are you with Dad? Are you, or are you just mad at me? Or maybe she died. Who knows? Ugh! It came from across the bridge. It sounded like... That was Jessica's voice. What happened? I better go find her. What's that? What's going on here? Oh, great. The drawbridge suddenly pulled up. Isn't that just magical? Puzzle time! Oh crud, someone raised the drawbridge. What should I do? I hear Jessica again. I gotta get to the other side fast. Well, obviously, I gotta raise the drawbridge down again. Let's see. The machine is rusted. What's this handle for? Okay. I don't understand why the drawbridge suddenly went up. I have to get back down. Obviously, I gotta pull this down. But it's, it's a little rusty, so I guess I'll have to use some torque behind it, won't I? Yeah, see, it's it's a lot like the old point-and-click adventures. Except I like how it also has 3D to it. You know, on the bottom screen. It's, it's a pretty neat feature. That does separate it from most other point-and-click adventures I've seen. It really takes advantage of the DS's touchscreen. You know, unlike that mist port that was apparently pretty bad. It makes everything blend in the background. I hear it was just inferior. Yes, the drawbridge is down. I can get to the other side. But this was clearly made with the DS in mind. It was made with its 3D capabilities and its tool screen in mind. So it is kind of cool in that regard. It uses both. What's that? Jessica? Where are you, Jessica? Crud. Too bad I don't know how to run this game. I think there is a button. Jessica? Jessica, can you hear me? Crud. What should I do? I never would have come here if I had known this would happen. I don't know how to run. I wish I knew. I'm pressing all the buttons, but obviously that's not helping, and Start did this. Wait a minute. Maybe these discs. Oh, wait, no, that's the save. I forgot. I forget everything. Oh, yeah. Right. She took a picture of... Her. Candy. Got these from Captain. Strawberry, lemon, and lime. Yummy! Very well. Right, there are no DTS cards in this thing. So there, there aren't any control schemes for me to pick up on either. Is that a grave? Oh no, it's a uh, property. It's a stone marker. Something is written on it. Property of the Edward family. Edward, that same name sounds really familiar. Oh yeah, that's a rich family that used to own the island. Well gee, I wonder. 
Obviously. Okay, that's a gate. I'm obviously not gonna get through there. What's that at the fork? It's a broken sign. What did it say? Edward's Mansion, I believe. It's broken, but it says Edward's Mansion. I bet. I guarantee you. Okay. Wait, can I ring in? Probably not. The gate is locked. Okay, it's not gonna let me ring in either, so I gotta take the shortcut. Well, diversion. It's not really a shortcut. It probably takes longer. Probably takes far longer. But oh well. I must go. I have to go now. My planet needs me. Oh no! The path is blocked by all these rocks! Now what? Go that way? Obviously. The game wants me to go down this way. There's only one way to go. Hmm. That's weird. It got so quiet all of a sudden. Jessica, can you hear me? Man, it's all- it's too creepy. It's too quiet. Creepy. Look! It sounds like- it looks like a gravestone. I must be in a cemetery. Yeah. What- what gave you the first clue? Oh, look, it's a slab. The stone slab blocks the way out. It looks so heavy, but I think I can move it out of the way. Good thing I've been working out. Yeah, good thing. What the? Okay, I just gotta... I just gotta stroke it. That even... That, that, that probably sounds wrong, but you know what I mean. I gotta slide it. I gotta stroke the touch screen. Until it gets out. Okay, uh, this is having a heck of a time, isn't it? Come on. It's only doing it a little bit at a time. Oh, okay. I just gotta do it up and to the, to the right. That does it faster. Slightly faster. It's like pulling teeth. Okay, it's starting to show. You know what? Hang tight. Oh, man. Good thing my big strong muscles were here to push that out of the way. Oh man, that was too much. And it fell over. Yeah, you take that, stone slab. I did it, go me, I rock, hee <laughs> hee. Now I can leave the cemetery. Hey, what's this, what's this? Looks like some sort of engraving on the other side. D? What's the D? And where can I find it? I mean, hmm. I wonder what it means. It's the D, obviously. Who's there? What was that? What's your business here? Answer me! What's going on? Where's that voice coming from? I don't understand who's talking. Show yourself. It's me. I'm a ghost. Ah! Who are you? Well, okay then. Awesome. I guess we're talking to a ghost now. I don't understand what's going on. I can see right through him. I think, is he? Why won't he say something? It's freaking me out. What's your name? Uh, Ashley! Uh, Ashley? That's a peculiar name. I mean Ashley. My full name is Ashley Mizuku Robbins. Ashley. Please! Don't hurt me! Ashley, open your eyes. I don't want to! Open your eyes and look at me. Huh? Why? Can you see me? Yes! Are you sure? 
course I'm sure! You're standing right in front of me! You can see me. This is just wonderful! Huh? <laughs> um, I don't get it. Why is this, the ghost laughing at me? I should be scared, I guess. But now I'm just kind of annoyed. Don't you know that it's rude to laugh at people? I laugh because I'm happy. So share the joke! I've been waiting all these years, waiting so long, for someone like you. What do you mean by that? You don't even know me! I've been waiting for someone who can see me. I don't understand. You can see me, right? Why would I be talking to you if I couldn't see you? Come on, ghost, put two and two together. Of course I can, you're standing right there. I know you don't technically have a brain, but use that ectoplasm up there. Why are you so surprised? Because I'm not human. I mean, not anymore. I knew it! I'm D. D? Oh man, I really messed up this time. That must have been his gravestone that I pushed over. I have the worst luck. I can't believe it. I haven't found Dad or Jessica and now this waking the dead. What else could happen today? I don't know what to do. That's not true. What? That's not my grave. My body isn't in there. What are you talking about? Did you hear me thinking? I've been here for a long time. Nobody ever noticed me. I've been alone for a long time. Alone? The living don't know what true isolation is, but you'll find out one day. Well, of course you feel lonely, but maybe, maybe it's just because no one lives here anymore. No, of course you wouldn't understand. Then explain it to me. Though visitors have become infrequent as time goes on, this island has seen some, and none of them can see me. I see. Do you understand what this means? People with clouded minds can only see what's in front of them. I don't understand. Your heart and mind are pure. What are you saying? <clears throat> you see past what's right there. That's why you can see me. Okay. You must be the one. The one? The one to recover my memories. Recover your memories? What do you mean by that? Ashley, listen to me, I don't have any memories. That's impossible, how can you not have any memories? I can't remember anything about my life, who I was, why I died. No one remembers me, not even me. It's as if I never existed at all. That's why I wander around here, that's why I can't move on. How long have you been here? I think around 57 years. 57 years? Are you so surprised? Death has no expiration date. I know, but... 57 years, I'd be an old lady by then. You've been wandering alone for that long? Yes. That's just terrible. Yes, which is why I need to get my memories back. I need to get my life back. I understand, I feel the same way. How? I have something I try to remember, but I but can't. It's a riddle and the answer is right on the tip of my tongue. So we're kindred spirits. <laughs> that was really corny, D. So you can't remember anything. Well, there is one thing. I remember. You remember what? What do you remember? Someone calling me D. And also, this mark on my chest. The mark on your chest? It's the last thing I saw. Something burned into my memory the moment I died. Go on. If I could just remember what that last piece was, I could probably remember why I died. I need to know why I died. I need to move on from here. Oh, D. I am thinking about what Captain said a little while ago. The question of why people die is too big for anyone to answer. Is it too big even for the dead? Probably, yeah. Let's see. That looks like a hand. Maybe, uh, a leg? Ashley, please help me get my memories back. But, please help me uncover this island story. And also, my own. What to do... I should help Dee, but I have to find Jessica and Dad. Captain said he's leaving the island before sunset, and... Ashley? What? You're going to see your father? 
Who's Jessica? Did you hear me thinking again? I came here to meet my father. I've been told he was dead. Your father is dead? So I got mad at my aunt, Jessica, then we were separated. I'm not following your story. I'm sorry, so much has happened. I just really want to see him. Your father? Yes. It's been so long since I've seen him. I need to find him. It's why I came here, so... I'm sorry, but I can't help you get your memories back. Your dad? Dad? Oh! D, what's wrong? Father! D has remembered something! Don't come in here! What's the matter, D? Ashley. Oh! D just disappeared! Well, okay then. Where did he go? D? D? I want you back here, D! I want D to come back! Come back, D! I want to find you, D! Okay, that that's sounding way too dirty. But anyway, I think that's it for now. So, thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like the island's many mysteries, and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. Make sure you don't become a ghost. <laughs>